Tech Tip Tuesday. Tech Tip Tuesday. Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Tip Tuesday. Of course, we bought TBM Brake sometime last year, so we're going to start incorporating some brake tech tips into uh, our regular scheduled content. arguably the most important tech tip as far as brakes go because it's the most forgotten and most overlooked and it's very crucial to the performance of your brakes not only for TBM but for any brakes you're using so let's go ahead and get started so today the two things that we're talking about are bore size on your master cylinder because they're not all the same and pedal ratio so as you know there's two piston four piston six piston brakes at the same time the piston sizes actually can change within those different two, four, six piston brakes. So what you come up with is a calculation as far as what you need for a bore size, um, what you need for a pedal ratio. You're trying to ultimately achieve a certain pressure so that when the piston is forced out, it's working under optimum conditions so that it can maximize stopping power. Brake pads are good, rotor design is good, but if you don't have the pressure coming from uh, the master cylinder to push the pistons correctly, you'll never get optimum braking. So again, let's go back to bore size. Uh, the inner bore here, uh, no matter what style master cylinder you run, changes. So um, like these Willwood ones, they have everything from a three quarter master bore all the way to an inch and an eighth, I believe. And there's a bunch of different variations in between. A lot of people just throw the big one on because the old uh, adage is just put as big a master cylinder as you can because you need fluid flow to operate your calipers, especially if you have four piston calipers. Not necessarily the case. Uh, that's probably the biggest wives tale in all of braking. What we want to do is achieve 800 or so PSI under normal operating circumstances. This is a simple calculation between bore size and pedal ratio, and then there's some other factors that affect it in between. But essentially, um, having the right bore size and pedal ratio is all that matters. Fluid volume can be a uh, subject for some style brakes, but in our traditional four piston, four piston brakes, or two and four piston brakes, uh, meaning two up front, two piston brakes up front, and four piston out back. Fluid flow, especially in the TBM brakes, this is not typically an issue. Now, one of the reasons why a lot of companies put a larger bore master cylinder on is to basically cover up. If a brake flexes a lot, you end up putting a bigger bore master because you need more fluid. Once that bore that brake starts to flex, you need more fluid coming its way to try and push the pistons out. A TBM is a very rigid caliper. As soon as the pistons come out, all we're looking for is pressure to operate them and get them to that 800 or so PSI range for operating. Now, a lot of times you'll see anywhere from 700 to 1200 PSI, and that's kind of what we call a normal operating range. For instance, for our two and four piston uh, standard brake drag kit, we will go ahead and have you guys put a uh, 15, 16 bore master cylinder to start with about a seven to one pedal ratio. Again, the inner bore is gonna be about 15, 16. I could spend a whole nother video on calculations on how to calculate this, but the concept of this video is just to know that there are differences and that we need you to have an optimum bore size. Now, all setups aren't gonna necessarily need a 15 16. For instance, if you go to our four piston front and four piston rears, we might put you on something like a one inch master cylinder. Give us a call and we can definitely help suggest what's perfect for your combo to achieve the operating pressure and uh, the results that you're looking for. We sell master cylinder kits for factory style brakes, aftermarket, TBMs, and everything in between. So again, holler at us if you have any questions on what's actually perfect for yours because a stock brake is gonna want a different master cylinder size than an aftermarket four piston. And then obviously there's a lot of variety in between depending on piston size that you're using. No matter what uh, master cylinder you have, they have one other commonality, and that's just a push rod that goes into the bore. Um, whether it's an inside the firewall style setup or an external um, in the firewall setup. This now connects to the brake pedal, which leads us to our next topic, which is pedal ratio. So pedal ratio, as I'll put it up on the screen, is a simple calculation.
Typically when you're working on a car and you go to hook up, hook up a manual master cylinder kit, the tendency is to go ahead and just put the push rod uh, bolt right back through the factory place. Well, that couldn't be more wrong. If you have power brakes, power brakes operate under about a four to one pedal ratio. Via the power diaphragm and the power brakes, it's essentially putting more force on the push rod power assist. Manual brakes require a six or seven to one pedal ratio. We prefer about a seven to one pedal ratio on a TBM brake setup. That'll give us the proper pressure for a 15 16 bore master cylinder on a typical drag brake setup. Of course, some things vary. Sometimes you can't get a seven to one, you might get a six to one, and we can play with uh, bore sizes accordingly on that. The main takeaway here is if you're looking at this diagram, sometimes the uh, push rod bolt hole doesn't line up the factory one. Again, if it's four to one power brake, we're gonna have to redrill a hole and then recalculate to make sure we get seven to one. These two things are very crucial. Like I said, the tendency is to hook up to the factory one, which might be lower. This one's been modified to move it up, increasing the pedal ratio. So that's gonna create better braking. I promise you, if you hook up to the factory hole location on a power brake setup, your brakes are just gonna essentially feel like they're not working. It's one of our most common things that we get. People switch to a manual master cylinder and then run a power style brake pedal ratio. And it's just an absolute recipe for disaster. So to not turn this into a 30 minute video, I just basically for this tech tip, wanted you to be aware that bore size does matter. Pedal ratio does matter. It's just like the brains of an ECU telling an engine what to do. If you have 1980s technology for an EFI system, it's not going to translate into good performance on your engine. The same way, if you have the wrong bore master or pedal ratio, it's going to translate into poor braking. It's not necessarily the brand, nothing else. It's essentially just setting things up properly. I could turn this into a 30 minute video, but I'm going to go ahead and leave you with that. The TBM brake company is very awesome in the fact that we have a lot of customer service and a lot of knowledge behind it. If you have questions on your braking system, we would love to talk with you on things and help you spec out the correct master cylinder pedal ratio, everything else in between. It's what we do. We specialize in brakes at TBM. So give us a call. Check out the diagram down below. I'm going to add that a link to that pedal ratio diagram so you can understand it. It's a very self-explanatory system. But again, give us a call if you have any questions. Thanks for tuning into this Tech Tip Tuesday. I hope it was beneficial in bringing some awareness to the fact that brakes are more important than just the amount of pistons and the style pad being used on the rotor. There's things up the line that affect the performance just as much. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.